year a lot can change in that year um, where do you see that you have grown since last year uh obviously playing time um, you know it's uh it's a very it's a di different year you know actually this is i can say like this is kind of my rookie year you know i'm saying because this is the year that i'm playing a lot and uh, that i have a lot of opportunity to step up and um to take responsibility on uh, both uh, both end of the court, and I'm saying offensively and defensively. So uh, that's why I think that's the uh, that's the biggest biggest uh, challenge for me this year to show what I can do in a in a both sides of the floor. So what did you learn from last year? You said this is kind of like your rookie year of being able to contribute um, more this year. But what was your greatest takeaway from last year? Um, so last year I was, I was, I was playing like some, sometimes I was playing, sometimes I was not, but for me, the most important thing was when I, when I step on the, on the floor to give my, to give my best, to give my hundred percent. So, uh, that's why I guess to play, to play hard, no matter what, how many minutes it can be one, five, or it can be 15 minutes, doesn't matter, always play the, the same way. Uh, Larry Drew says he loves when you play with the swag. Just mid-range, getting to the basket has been something that has been your go-to as well. How do you feel about your style in this season? Uh, I mean, I'm feeling good. I was, you know, I was always, uh, I was always uh, like more going to the rim instead of shooting. But um, you know, I I trust into my shot. I I trust my jumper shots, and uh, so that's why I like. Uh, I mean, I'm gonna still go into the be slasher like I was, but you know, I'm gonna always take those jumpers when I'm when I'm uh, open and when I see the when I when I see a uh, open gap, I'm gonna always t take those shots because I trust in my shot and I know that I can make those because uh, I'm working hard uh, to improve my shot. You did mention that you're getting more playing time, you're trusting your abilities on the floor more often, but there are those times when it may be hard, your shot's not falling. Uh, what is the biggest adjustment for you as far as just moving forward? Uh, I mean, I, I had those games. I had those games really when I couldn't make shots when I was uh, struggling, but uh, then the important thing is how you're going to impact uh, another way. And, um, you know, I'm trying to impact by... by uh, by making a plays for my teammates, um, by uh, by playing the defense, by rebounding the basketball, trying to seal the basketball. So uh, that's why, like, even if you don't score, like, there's another way that you can impact in the game. Last thing, you were able to play a short spell um, with Dwayne Wade. This is his last go round um, with you guys. You were able to play with an All Star and you know a legend of this game. What was that like? I was. Uh, it was it was a great experience. It was a great experience, you know. And um, D Wade was always talking to me after the games and stuff. And uh, you know, actually, we had that um, we had that uh, jersey exchanging. You know, I, I was I, I, first when I came, I was number nine. And then after he came, you know, it was like, Hey, Jetty, what's going on, man? Like, you know. I knew you heard about me, like and stuff. I said, of course. I know what's going on about your jersey number and stuff. You got it. No worries. And then that's how I, that's how I get my 16. So uh, that was a, uh, I think that was uh, one of the one of the good experiences that I had with him. But you know, he was really good, amazing player, good guy, and uh, you know, can't wait to play against him tonight in his last year.